Hello, thank you for clicking on my video tutorial for the new Nokia E71X from AT&T. In this first part of the series, I'll be covering the general phone layout, shortcuts, and how to personalize the home screen of the device. First, let's talk a little bit about the form factor of the phone. Now, obviously, you got a ton of cool features in here from Wi-Fi to GPS to the 3.2 camera and tons of other cool things. But what really makes this stand out among the other smartphones on the market is the form factor. As you can see here, it's ultra slim, very sleek. You can uh, easily go ahead and slip this into your pocket. Um, no need to carry it on, a, on, your, on your hip with a case. Uh, you got a, a stainless steel metal casing, so it has a very solid weight and feel. Very, feels very durable and uh, overall just a great quality to the phone. So now that we've addressed that, let's look at uh, where everything is laid out on the phone. But before we do, let me just give you a quick uh, reminder to unlock your keypad. It does have an auto key guard on here. So to unlock, you just go ahead and hit the top uh, left soft key followed by the function on the bottom left. So one, two, and keypad is unlocked. So let's start over here on the left side of the phone. You have a slot here for your USB data cable that comes uh, packaged with the phone. Just above that, your memory card slot supports up to an 8 gig card right there. On the back of the phone you have your 3.2 megapixel camera as you can see. Left side of the top uh, of the phone is the speaker and over here on the top right is your power key. Now common uh, trick on Symbian phones uh, if you press and hold it obviously that that'll turn it on and off but a short press will bring up all your profiles so you can go ahead and switch through normal vibrate meeting outdoor etc. And another quick shortcut you'll want to know about is the pound key. If you press and hold that for a moment it'll go ahead and switch it back and forth between vibrate and your normal profile. So moving over here to the right side of the phone there's your 2.5 headset jack, your up and down volume keys and right there in the center that's where you can go ahead and use the voice command feature on the phone. So for example I'll just go ahead and press and hold that down for a moment. Messaging. And that's how I can just an example of how you could access either an application or a contact. So that brought me into my messaging folder. So I'll just go ahead and hit my home key two times and that'll take me back to my home screen. So now that we looked at that, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the shortcut keys here on the phone. So as you can see, in addition to all the shortcuts I have here on the, uh, on the left side of the screen, I also have a shortcut here for messaging, address book, and calendar in addition to my main menu uh, application key. So just for an example, if I hit my calendar, it'll bring, bring that up with the month view. And uh, one shortcut you want to know about, uh, other than hitting options, add new entry, you can actually just start typing once you open your <coughs> calendar. And that'll automatically add a new uh, calendar entry. Sorry for the focus there. So that's just a quick shortcut. It'll save you a couple button presses in the end. Okay, and then finally over here, your home key, your, your main menu key. Um, on previous Symbian phones, you would have seen a little kind of swirly icon that indicates your, your application's menu. Now, with the newer E-Series devices, uh, Nokia is using this little home icon, which is a little bit more obvious what it's used for. So if you go ahead and do a short press on there, you'll access your main menu. If you do a long press, however, it'll access your application switcher or uh, your task manager, if you want to call it that. So I can quickly and easily uh, cycle back and forth between you know, different programs that are currently running in the background. Now, if there's something uh, you know, that I see there that I don't want open, for example, that's my stuff folder full of my pictures, I can just use uh, the delete key here on the right side of the phone. and that will automatically go ahead and close that application for me. And then other than that, you'll see your, your main menu right there and your uh, application manager and your idle screen. So you can get right back to whatever you were working on. So now let's talk a little bit about the uh, personalization capabilities that you can do on the home screen of the device. One of the main differences between the E71X from AT&T and the unlocked or unbranded version of the E71 is uh, the unbranded version uses Feature Pack 1 of S60, whereas 
the E71X uses Feature Pack 2 of the third edition of S60. So one of the enhancements that comes with that is, for example, the slideshow wallpaper that you see running on my home screen. So I have it set to go ahead and alternate pictures every one minute. And I'll go ahead and show you how to set that up. So all you're going to do here, go into your uh, personalization menu. And we're going to go and select wallpaper. You can see that. And once you're there, now the phone will say default once you uh, originally pull it out of the box. You can either have one image selected or you can select on slideshow. Once you do that, you can choose through all your images, select as many as you like, and then go ahead and select the change interval. You can do anything from one minute all the way up to one day, however often you want to see your pictures change. And another thing I want to show you how to personalize on the home screen is the uh, what's called the idle screen mode. So by default, it'll be set up to the horizontal icon bar where you'll have the six applications across the top of the screen. You can also select basic if you prefer not to have any shortcuts on your home screen, if you just want to view your pictures. But as you can see here, I have mine selected on the vertical icon bar, which is my, my, uh, f my favorite setup to do. It allows you to have more applications, more shortcuts on the home screen, and it's kind of a cleaner view if you like to uh, look at your pictures. As you can see there, we got a picture of Chuck Liddell knocked out on the floor. So I like to take a look at that and uh, with all my applications right over here on the side I get a great view of all my pictures that are cycling through. So there's some cool ways you can personalize the home screen of your device. Um, one more thing I want to show you before we go ahead and wrap this session up is uh, some, some uh, common uh, features that come with Symbian phones. For example, number one will be Say Caller's name. So anytime you're receiving a call uh, the, the phone will actually read your contact's name from your address book. So the way you turn that on is going into your main menu and what we're going to do is get to our profiles under the uh, settings I believe. Yeah. There we go, go to profiles and you'll see a list of your profiles there and then you can go ahead and hit options and customize. That's where you can select your ringtone and ring volume and all kinds of things. But you can see right there it says say caller's name. You can either, it'll come uh, by default that will be off. So you'll want to go in and go ahead and turn that on. And obviously you're going to have to have uh, the person's uh, name in your address book in order for it to read their name out to you. So now that I have that on, I'm going to show you how that works. And during that demonstration, you're going to see how you can also set up to reject a call with a text message. So, for instance, uh, if somebody were calling me right now and I couldn't pick up because I'm filming, I could just go ahead and shoot them a quick text message automatically without having to, uh, you know, do too many button presses and take a lot of time. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and call myself right now and we'll see how all that works. Okay, so here's the call. You can hear it read the name. Benjamin. There you go. Kind of a robotic voice, but cool nonetheless. If you're in another room, you don't want to get up. So what I can do is hit silence here, send message. That's all on the right soft key. And this message will automatically come up. Sorry, I'll call later. And I'll just go ahead and send that with my send key. And that's now automatically sent off to that person. So before they even reach my voice mailbox, they've already received a text message from me saying, sorry, I'll call later. And I can go ahead and customize that, that message to be whatever I want uh, in, my, in my phone setting. So there's that message coming through. That's the end of the first part of my series. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch my other videos on the E71X and please leave your comments below.